Sorry, Nora. I need to do overtime today, too. I can't pick Eric up. What? I won't be able to pick him up on time either. That's okay. I already asked my mother to go get him. You asked your mother again? There's nothing else that I can do. I can't just tell my boss that I can't work. I'll lose my job. You just said that you can't get him either. There's no one else that I can ask except mom. That might be true, but... Haven't we been relying on your mother a little too much? I'm going to do my best to get my work done and try to get over there. I'll call the daycare and see if they can keep him for a little longer. You don't have to do that. This is why my mom is staying with us, so she can help us out. We can ask her to help us do things in times like these. But there's a big difference between asking for help and just giving her the responsibility. She already cooks and cleans for us without any form of compensation. It isn't fair. It's fine. Don't worry about it. My mom is retired. This will help her keep busy. It will also delay Alzheimer's. That's not nice. Your mother has a better memory than you do, Phil. She's also way sharper than you are. It's thanks to me, you know. I'm forgetful so that she has to stay sharp. <laughs> Ugh, you're so full of yourself. Doesn't matter what you say. Don't rely on her too much and do your duty to this family. Sure, you've made yourself crystal clear. Oh, and one more thing. I need to go on a business trip. Oh, great. When? Next month from the 10th. I'll be gone for a week. That's quite a long business trip. Yeah. Actually, I have to go overseas. Overseas? That's pretty broad. Where overseas? You've never gone that far before. Our company started to do business with an Indonesian company. So that's where I have to go. You're the one that has to go? Why would they send you? As far as I know, you can't speak Indonesian. Um, honey, they understand English over there. Even if they didn't, the company would hire translators. I'm not the only one that is going either. Wait a minute. The 10th of next month? That's Eric's birthday! Oh, no. You're right. It is his birthday. Then it'll just be your mother and I that'll be celebrating his birthday. Sorry. Next year. I promise next year we will celebrate his birthday together. All of us together. Next month for a week. I won't be able to take an entire week off, but I can see if I can get a few days off. We can go with you to Indonesia. That's impossible. I'm going for work. I know that. I was just joking. But it would be nice. <laughs> oh, good. I thought you were serious. That was never going to happen. But you know, a friend of mine went with her husband on a business trip once. It's not as impossible as it seems. If I was staying there longer, I think it would be a good idea. But a week is too short for us to do anything. Not to mention, you'd be on your own for most of the time. That's true. It's a long way to travel for just a few days. It might be better to go on an international family trip while Eric is still young. The prices for children are cheaper, and it would give him good memories. I think going on a trip is a great idea. But if we are going to bring Eric with us, we need to plan it out and find children-friendly places to bring him. So we will go on a trip? Yay! I'll start doing the research now. But now that I think about it, are we spoiling him if we bring him on a trip outside the country? I don't think so. It's not like we'll be going every year. Even if we go just once, it'll leave him with a good experience. Besides, you've been coming home late on weekdays and even going to work on weekends lately. The trip will give you a chance to spend more time with Eric. We haven't even gone anywhere together as a family either. Now that I think about it, you're right. But work is work. I've been busy, and there's nothing I can do that can change that. I know that. But there's other things you can do around the house to spend time with him. Like you can give him a bath or read to him before he sleeps. I know you're tired, but please think of Eric as well. I think he wants to spend time with you too. I'm sorry. On my next day off, I'll spend the whole day playing with him. Let's go somewhere as a family. Okay, sounds like a great plan to me. Alright, I need to get back to work now.
Try not to work too hard, okay? Hi, Lisa. I just left work and I'm on my way home. I'm on the bus now, but before I go home, I'm going to the supermarket and to the bakery to pick up the cake. Is there anything else that I need to buy while I'm here? Hi, Nora. Thanks for asking. I think we already have everything I need to make a feast for my precious grandson. Oh, never mind. I think we're running out of toilet paper. That has nothing to do with the birthday party, though. <laughs> but toilet paper is essential. <laughs> okay, I'll grab a pack while I'm at the supermarket. Sorry for asking you to get a bulky item. This is going to make it hard for you to carry everything. No, it's okay. I can manage. We are always relying on you to do everything for us, so I'll be able to grab everything myself. Oh, but I will need your help with the cooking. I can't cook as well as you. No problem. Leave the cooking to me. But that son of mine. I can't believe he has to go on a business trip on Eric's birthday of all days. Philip was so happy to be going on a trip overseas, though. Let's video call him when we cut the cake. He should be a part of that at the very least. But wouldn't there be a time difference? Would it be okay? There's a 14-hour difference between here and Indonesia. So it will be morning over there when we cut the cake. Oh? Then maybe it will be okay. We might be able to celebrate all together after all. If there were no delays, then we should be able to call him soon after he lands. Or he might be on his way to the hotel. Something like that. I wonder what souvenirs he's going to get us from Indonesia. I can't wait to get mine. Something cultural would be nice. Oh, by the way, Philip and I have been talking about a family trip in the near future. We were thinking somewhere out of the country would be nice. Yes, that would be very nice indeed. That reminds me that I will need to renew my passport. Oh yeah, that would be a good idea. Actually, even going to Hawaii would be great. Hawaii is children friendly. I don't have to worry too much about Eric. Oh, that sounds lovely. I do like Hawaii. Let's make some solid plans when Philip comes home. Yes, let's do that. Wait. What is it? Something just came up on the news. They said that there was a small-sized plane that crashed on its way to Indonesia. What? Oh, but it's probably not the plane that Philip is on. It can't be. Many planes fly to Indonesia from all over the world. Besides, they said that it was a small plane from Japan. But... He said he will be changing to a smaller plane after his layover in Japan. No. No way. Wait, let me see. I'll check the information. I wrote down all his flight numbers on a piece of paper. Oh goodness, please do check the information. It could just be a coincidence. But I don't like this at all. My hands are shaking. Lisa? What about the plane? Tell me it's a different one than the one he is on. It's the same as the one that's on the news. What? That can't be. It just can't. Are you sure you got the flight number right? Maybe you wrote it down wrong. Or maybe that number is really a letter or the other way around. I'm sure it's the right number. It's the right flight. What are we going to do? The news said that there were no survivors. What do I do now? Calm down, Nora. Right now, we need to find somewhere to call and confirm this. The airline might be trying to call us now, but I don't want to wait for them to call. Who knows how long they will take to contact us. Let's call them first instead. Yeah, okay, let's do that. I'll get off at the next bus stop. I'll call the airline the second I get off the bus. Understood. Don't worry about Eric. I'll look after him. Please find out what you can about Philip. Philip? Honey? Please contact me. Any way you can. Please. Please be alright. Sorry, I was sleeping. I just landed. Oh goodness, Indonesia is so hot. Oh my god! How? What do you mean, how? The climate is different from the States. I don't know what else to tell you. It's so hot that I can't even wear my suit jacket. 
I need to change into a polo shirt. A shower would be great. No, that's not what I meant. Why are you alive? Is it really you, Philip? Huh? What are you talking about? But they said that there were no survivors. What? Survivors? What's that about? Anyway, I'll be going to the hotel soon, so I'll talk to you later. Wait a minute. It really is you, right, Philip? This isn't some sort of joke, right? Why would I lie? You've been acting really strange. You were on the plane, right? The same plane with the flight number that you gave me? You said that after landing, you would be taking a smaller plane to your destination, right? Yeah. We landed, and now we will be heading for the hotel. The smaller plane that you were supposed to be on crashed. Huh? Crashed? The news said that there were no survivors. I was about to contact the airline. Seriously? I guess I had luck on my side today. Actually, I was able to get on an earlier flight. An earlier flight? You can do that? Even though your company was the one that got you those plane tickets. The smaller plane just isn't that strict. You can just get on whichever is there. Are you serious? Yeah, it's true. They aren't really strict on overtime here either. I think the planes were a little delayed too. Can I video call you now? No, we'll be on the move soon. Only for one minute. You can do that, right? I want you to show me where you are now. Show me the sights, Philip. No way. That's a little embarrassing. I'm with my co-workers. Are you really in Indonesia right now? I am. What's the problem? I'm obviously alive. Everything is fine. What? Are you doubting me or something? I just want to see for myself that you are okay. If the news of the plane is being reported here, then it should be an even bigger deal over there. Why did you not know anything? I don't understand the language here, so I don't know what they were going on about. Even if everyone was making a big fuss, I wouldn't know what was going on. But we're talking right now, aren't we? I'll call you when I get to the hotel. Do it now. I want you to call me right now. Please. Listen here. I came here for work, not a vacation. Just do it so I can feel better. I'm already responding to you. We are communicating right now. But you always did it before. No matter how short or how busy you were, you would video call me. Now that I think about it, you've been acting really suspiciously lately. About what? The past year, you suddenly had to do overtime. You also had to go to work on weekends. If it's work, then there's nothing that I can say. But I think it's a little weird. There's nothing weird about it. We just suddenly became very busy. Right now, Lisa is calling the company that you work for. Someone from there picked up. What? They said that there isn't a business trip to Indonesia. They said that you took an extended leave of absence. What is going on? I can explain. That's, uh... That's, um... Where are you? You're the one that has to stop playing around. Could you stop lying to me? Um... Mom? My key doesn't seem to work. I can't open the door. I haven't been able to contact Nora either. She's not responding. Well, I wonder why this is happening. It might be the fact that she changed the locks on the doors to the house. What? Why? Because you lied about that business trip. You went away for pleasure, didn't you? I wouldn't want a person like that to be inside the house either. Sorry. Sorry? That's it? How was Hawaii? Did you have fun? I'm so sorry. I went because I wanted to change an environment. Just a present to myself, if you will. Wow, what a big present. It was my bad. I'll take everyone with me next time. I bought everyone souvenirs. Is nobody home? That has nothing to do with you. 
What do you mean it has nothing to do with me? I'm sorry for leaving everyone and having a bit of fun by myself. But you guys don't have to be this angry at me. We wouldn't be this angry if you went by yourself. But you went with a woman. Huh? You said you went by yourself, but there is no way that you would go to Hawaii alone. You hate doing things by yourself. If you told anyone that knows you, no one would believe that you went by yourself. I'm a full-grown man. I can go on solo trips. Then who was the woman that you said bye to at the airport? What? What are you talking about? Did you think that we just believed what you said and didn't do anything about it for one week? We hired someone to have you followed and they saw you get off the plane at the airport. What? Why would you do that? If we didn't do that, we wouldn't be able to get any evidence. We couldn't just drop everything and go to Hawaii ourselves. So the easiest thing for us to do was have you followed from airport to airport. You mean someone was taking pictures of me? That's right. We just got a call from that agent, too. They said they took pictures of you with a woman. That can't be true. You went on a cheating spree on your child's birthday. How pathetic you are. Nora and I will never forgive you for this. Just tell me where you guys are now. You're with Nora, aren't you? Please, let me talk to Nora. Tell her to answer my calls. She won't answer. Why? Her phone got damaged by water, so now she can't use it. Water damage? Yeah, Eric got a little carried away. But she can still receive text messages. Actually, I'll let her answer here. Okay, fine. Just let me talk to her, please. Philip? You went home? I'm sorry, Nora. This is all my fault. Could you be a little more specific? What exactly are you apologizing for? The fact that you cheated? The fact that you abandoned your family to meet up with the person you're cheating with? The fact that you went on a getaway with the woman you're cheating with on your son's birthday? Or maybe it's the fact that you lied about everything. All of it. Oh, really? What do you want to do? Do you want a divorce? I don't want that at all. I love you and Eric a lot. You guys mean a lot to me. But you betrayed the ones you love and put your lover first. Doesn't that mean you care for your girlfriend more? No, you're wrong. We are family. Families last a lifetime. She is just some temporary plaything. Not all families last a lifetime. Divorce is available for a reason. I didn't think that this would happen. Of course you didn't. Don't you even know how worried your mother and I were when we heard about the plane crash? I thought that my heart was breaking. I'm sorry. I'm glad that you are alive. But when I heard that you were cheating instead, I thought it would be better that you went down with that plane. Of course, I only wish that you and that cheater didn't survive. Don't say things like that. That's how mad and angry I am. You said that families last a lifetime, but Eric only turns three years old once in his lifetime. We can only see his cute behaviors and expressions now. If you were really busy with work, then I would have been able to let that go, but you were out cheating. You're right about everything. I was totally wrong. Then why did you cheat? It was just a moment of weakness. Just a moment of weakness? A moment of weakness doesn't include fully planning and going on a vacation with your lover. I don't have the confidence to be with you anymore. Don't say something so final like that. I'm sorry. I regret what I did. Then pay for the pain and distress that you caused. Show me your sincerity with money. What? You want me to pay you even though we're not getting a divorce? You can still pay without the divorce proceedings. Right. Oh, and I will be suing that woman for the same thing. Understood. I will do whatever you say, Nora. But please, I don't want to get a divorce. I love Eric. He means the world to me. You do too. I love you so much. I'll hear what you have to say after we come home. When you come home? Where are you right now? Should I come and pick you guys up? You're going to come here? That's impossible. You can't do that. Why? We're in Florida now. What? 
It's fine, isn't it? Someone went all the way to Hawaii with their cheating friend. We also want to escape from everyday life, too. Then when can I get inside the house? Who knows? We put all your stuff in a storage center. So go wherever you want. What's with that? Do you want a divorce? I don't want to think about that now. I just want to focus on Eric. So for now, I want to live separately. Separately? Even though we have a house together? Also, isn't it weird that my mom is there with you? You kicked out her son. Why? Your mother and I were the ones that paid the down payment on the house with our savings. There's nothing weird or wrong with the both of us living there together. That might be true, but... My parents died when I was young, so there's no one else I can turn to. I can't raise a small child by myself. Your mom offered to help me, so I plan to take her up on that offer. And of course, if something were to happen to Lisa, I would be the one to take care of her. I'm not worried about something like that. But you guys are really letting me live by myself? He should be grateful that I'm not asking for a divorce right off the bat. That also might be true, but... I'm going to be so lonely living on my own. I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can live alone. You did this to yourself. You've only been coming home to sleep lately anyway. It seems like you didn't need us. That's what I've been trying to say. I'll come home quicker from now on. I'll be around more often. I'll take care of the family. I'll put you guys first. I'll look after Eric. It's easy for you to say all that. You need to prove yourself by actually doing it. What happens from now on depends on you and what you plan to do. You can choose divorce or a change to start over. Please, Nora. Please reconsider all this. You're the only one that I need. That other woman means nothing to me. I don't want to be with anyone else. I never ever thought of being with anyone else. Then you shouldn't have cheated in the first place. Whether Eric needs you or not will depend on what happens from now on, too. Right now, I don't need you at all. Keep that in mind while you make your decisions. Oh, Eric wants to go play in the ocean again. Talk to you later. Wait, Nora. We haven't finished talking yet. Nora left already. What the hell? She didn't seem sad at all. I don't understand her. Despite how she may seem, there's no way that Nora is fine with everything. She was depressed for the whole week. He went prancing off and got caught cheating. How could you think that cheating is forgivable? You're the one that I don't understand. Mom, you're choosing to side with Nora. I'm your son. No matter how you slice this, you're in the wrong. There's no doubt about that. Anyway, this is how things are from now on. I'm tired now too, so I'm going to lie down for a little bit. Help me. Don't leave me on my own. I don't want to live apart from the family. Don't come crying to me. Everything that's happening is a result of your actions. Deal with the consequences of your actions by yourself. The next time you go south, go all the way to Antarctica. Maybe there you can calm your flaming desires and use your head instead. After that, I received payment from my husband and his cheating partner. My husband rented a place, and we officially lived separately. If my husband continued his affair, I was going to divorce him. But he has been taking Eric to and from daycare, and helping out with Eric and around the house whenever he's here. I'm going to keep monitoring the situation before I make a decision on what to do moving forward. If this continues on for more than a year, it might be possible for us to start over again. My son loves his father so I really hope that his father doesn't do anything to hurt him again. Philip needs to face his feelings during the upcoming year and put his son first. If he does that, then I might be able to have the courage to trust him again. If that happens, we can talk it out again. Right now, Eric, my mother-in-law, and I are living happily together every day. I'm really grateful for my mother-in-law. She took my side right away and gave me strength to get through all this. Even if I were to divorce my husband, I would want to continue to live with my mother-in-law. Of course, I haven't told any of this to my husband. As long as I have my mother-in-law and my son to help me through the sad and tough times, I can get through anything. <laughs>